So that's a more embarrassing. At 15 and 17, well, actually, it started from 14 to 22. This this young lady hated. Not 22. 21? 20? No. 19? Until I went to college. She hated me. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. That's what I'm going through. So, so my daughter hates you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hate him, Jackie? I don't even know you. <laughs> I'll tell you, you want to know something crazy. No, but so, she hit, I ended up in therapy because of it. Uh, she hated me. It was horrible. My, so my daughters, um, I, I'm, I, I learn, I'm learning a lot <laughs> because my behavior when they mess up, my behavior of how they, how I reacted when they mess up, you know, like little typical kid stuff, sneaking out or whatever. My behavior, my reaction was up here. Yeah. So then I forced them into a paradigm where they had to then lie to me, because well, that's they were like, that's they were like, what I, that's exactly that was our life. Is the older one more mad at you than yes, the younger? Yes. Yeah, because you're learning. On, yeah, I'm the oldest. Okay, so the oldest one right now. There's my daughters. See, that's They're our beautiful. Christmas card. Yeah, post- look, look how <laughs> mad she is. She even- <laughs> that was me my whole life. Yeah, so um, <laughs> so much so that she wouldn't even mention that I was her father. Oh, that's very Do you know that? I've... She had a girlfriend in her house once. At a, a, how old were you? About that six? was younger. That was younger. Uh, that's oh, that's, she lets people come to her house, and my well, oldest won't have her friends over at our house. She didn't. I only when he went on tour. When he went out of town, my friends came over. Yeah. Wow. Only that's, when that, my mom uh, was that home. That is an, a mirror to my family. Yeah. Well, your future is you're going to be doing a podcast <laughs> with your daughter. Uh, she's my daughter. George is hilariously brilliant so smart and uh but i we're exactly the same she's yes yeah, she, <laughs> <laughs> she's not a she's not i mean when i went to the king's game with them that king's picture yeah um they they brought me over to do an interview and of right. course i ripped my shirt my shirt off and drank a beer and started banging on the glass going tarps off for the boys <laughs> and the hockey players are all laughing and it's a great great moment and then i get back and my daughter's like I gotta sit next to you for the rest of this game. Like <laughs> you're the one who just ripped his shirt off, killed a beer, and sort of bet everyone's staring at us. And I was like, "Yeah, I know. What, what are you worried about?" She's like, "Like she doesn't." Is yeah, she, she date? Is she dating? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. You really don't know. I really don't know. The seventeen year old. I don't know. Are you, you didn't okay? Know, you didn't know what I was doing. No, no. But did, did, does it scare you that she'd go out with? I, I don't. I you know I. I, I don't know. I haven't really thought much about <laughs> <You can't. laughs> I, I kind of shut down. I shut down because I, I know that if she heard me talk, she is, she's very litigious about what get, gets shared. Litigious? She has a lawyer? No, that's the way, like, <laughs> certain things she's not cool with me sharing. You just told me you shared her period. I did. Well, that's how I learned. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Uh, so Georgia, my oldest, when she got her period, it was very traumatic. She's a very sensitive child. So when she got her period, she realized her childhood was over. Right. And she wasn't ready for it to end that day. And she came in and to Leanne and, and started crying and said, I'm I'm not ready to be a big girl today. Like I'm not ready. I don't I need a couple more days playing with dolls. I get that. And and yeah, but well, she, I because I, I get it. And and I think it's a beautiful moment. And that's why I want to share a it. A beautiful with you. moment. Meaning, meaning like a, an it's it's an insightful moment for a child to have upon the entry into womanhood it's an insightful moment so i want to share that with you because i think it's interesting and cool it is and, so, and then it and then it tags even better because isla witnessed georgia go through that and go that's just not happening to me i'm not going to deal with it like that so isla got a period and she threw herself a period party she <laughs> two different people come from the me. same home she called me up she goes hey uh we she told me when georgia got her period she got isla got in the pool with me she goes uh, just so you know i'm not getting my period and i was like <laughs> good luck with that <laughs> and so then one day she calls because it happened i tried to stop it dad it happened they didn't tell me did yeah. you tell me when you got your period no no i didn't tell anyone yeah no. george and then isla was at school and she goes i need you to go to the store and I'm why is she calling you and not her mother uh my, leanne was out they called the house leanne isla had gone to the isla had gone to the um to the uh principal or whatever the infirmary she got a period right she goes to the infirmary or whatever the thing and says hey i need to go to my locker and get my go bag my mom gave me a go bag. I got my period. And they're like, do you need to call parents? She called the house. Called me. And I answered. And she was like, she was like, uh, oh, hey, she- we're just giving you a heads up. I got my period, but I need you to go to the store. And I was like, for what? And she goes, I need you to get a red velvet cake. So I'm throwing a period party tonight. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Red she velvet said, cake? <laughs> she goes, Dad, by everything red, we're throwing a period party. I'm fighting 10 girls and two boys. And I was like. What what are you talking about? What I, I what the fuck's a period party? She goes, Dad, I'm gonna celebrate it. I'm gonna name my period. Uh, we're gonna have a party. 
uh, all the girls know, but the boys won't know why they're there. And how do you choose the boys? <laughs> two boys, Max Carter. They were there. They don't know why they were there. I put it on Instagram. <laughs> I put it all on Instagram because it was fucking hilarious. It so is. I met and got a red velvet cake. I got spaghetti and meatballs. I got red Kool Aid. I got red wine. I got everything red. Everything was red. Everyone wore red except for the two boys. And the boys were like, "What the hell? Why is everyone wearing red?" And the girls were laughing hysterically. And then we brought out the cake, and she named her period Jason because she got it on Friday the thirteenth. And so. <laughs> These boys are like, who the fuck is Jason? <laughs> and they're eating red velvet cake. It's all over their faces. <laughs> and the girls are crying laughing. And, and so I thought it was a brilliant story. I think it's brilliant. To share of how one sensitive, insightful, my poetic daughter, Georgia, my, my one will be a writer, versus my party animal, Isla, who's like, uh-uh, fuck that. I'm throwing a period party. Chip off the old block, yeah. that one. So I shared it on Conan and, and, uh, and without... Really thinking, I, I just it's, it was a good story, and, and I'm and the you moment, know you're sharing it now. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I put it on my special because I shared it on Conan, and then and they were like, and I was like, oh, I, guys, I talk about your period party. You know how sometimes you'll tell a bit to your kids and go, I talk about you in one of these bits, and then you forget. Oh, I talk kind of all over the map about you. Oh shit! <laughs> and so I was like, I talked about your period party on Conan, and I was like, Did you, wait, you talked about my period on Conan, and I was like, well, no, your period party, and she goes, that was my period. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, it, you're gonna like it. It's good. Conan loved it, and then I tell it, and then she, her first reaction was, Georgia was like, "Why did you have to tell anything about me?" And I was like, "Because you're the fact that you were so sensitive about it highlights Isla's." We needed take. you yeah. for the setup. You're the setup. You're kiddo. the leverage to the humor. <laughs> Without you, I can't do Isla. She just looks like a lunatic. <laughs> and so uh, then Isla started watching. Isla goes, she hits pause on the TV, and she goes, "You're making fun of me." I said, no, I'm not. She goes, no, you are. You're making me look like I'm weird for doing this. And I go, hold on, baby, it is weird. Like, no, not a lot of people think this way. So I'm not making fun of you. I'm just highlighting that you're different. And I go, trust I'm me. I'm highlighting you're different. Yeah. I'm not making fun of you. And so. <laughs> That's another way of saying I'm making fun of you. They watched it, and it was kind of mixed. They were like, it was, it was cool. It's good. I'm glad. And then I'm the glad. next morning, I had 20 emails. And then the day after that, I had 120. And then the day after that, I had like 700. And the clip went viral, like 20 million views within the first week. And you sold out Red Rocks. And I, <laughs> no, but, but uh, little girls were having their parents hit my email and say, and the little girl would write the letter, this letter's to Isla. Thank you so much for letting your dad share your story. Oh. My older sister was like Georgia, and we threw a period party last night for, and welcomed Doug into our family. And so all the little <laughs> girls were naming their periods. And then Isla read these and was like, Oh, this is a good thing. And I said, yes. The whole time I thought it was good. And I thought it should be shared. Because if George is going through that, you other are the, going through the that. most amazing backpedaler. You really you are. It. Yes. You nailed it. 